people from Rotten Act to another video. So this is my full review of the M1 equipped MacBook Pro 13 inch that we just saw at the release a couple of weeks ago. And in my testing so far, it has just been absolutely impressive. And I'll get into why in the, the course of this video. So I want to start out with a couple key things to know. First is that this is physically unchanged from any of the MacBook Pro 13 inches that we've seen already. So physically, no new design, blue Apple for that. But we expect to see brand new designs coming in 2021. So if you're holding out for a new design of for a MacBook Pro, keep waiting, it is coming next year. But I can't stress enough, if you want a new MacBook Pro like I did right now, or you need one, also in my case, I will tell you this, you're not going to be disappointed with these machines. Now, a couple of things to note on top of that is, besides the design being unchanged, what also has gone unchanged is the red cam. So the red cam is still 720p. Now Apple says it's using the new neural, neural engine that is um, inside the N1 chip to enhance the video quality of the webcam as much as they can. But in my testing, I didn't really see how that was the case. What I will say is the microphones are fantastic because they do have new studio quality microphones specific to this machine and the 13 inch MacBook Pro. The new MacBook Air that also has the new M1 chip does not have the studio quality microphones, just to clarify that. Now, with that being said, the battery life of this machine is also upgraded and enhanced from last, uh, well, I guess technically they have an Apple Pro 13 inch even from this year, early 2020. So what's different about these ones are that these new M1 equipped MacBook Pros now are said to have up to 20 hours of battery life. Now I'll explain a little bit more in this video about that. So again, same design, same red cam, but better internal, uh, you know, with the M1 chip, very bad performance there. Um, all around a much upgraded package, even if there's no new design. So let's jump into the actual bread and butter of these new M1 equipped maps, which is of course the performance. Apple's custom silicon that they are currently calling M1 really changes the game, and I can't say that enough. It truly changes the game when it comes to Macs and how they perform, especially compared to the Intel chips of the past. Now, just to clarify, Apple is still selling Intel-based Macs, but they've made it very clear that the future is their custom silicon, and for a very good reason. These computers perform so much better, not only in terms of raw performance, but in terms of battery life compared to the Intel Macs of the past. Now, I've owned pretty much every model of new MacBook Pro and a lot of the MacBook Airs of the past, uh, not the MacBook Airs recently in the last couple of years, but I've owned pretty much every map model of map that has come out at one point or another. And let me tell you, I have not been this shocked by the performance of a new Mac computer in many years. I mean, this is night and day. So let's talk about the specifics. So this new N1 chip is, again, custom Apple Silicon, and compared to something like an Intel chip, I can't really give you an, uh, an exact model of an Intel CPU that this can be compared to, because it's just so good on its own level. So if you go up here to CPU though, you'll see that I am, just to verify, I am running the newest MacBook Pro, 13 inch. It's not, the custom N1 chip is not on the 16 inch MacBook Pro yet. I can't wait until it is though. Now, this is the 8 gigs of RAM model. Now, I I can't really say if you should upgrade to the 16 gigs of RAM. Um, you know, I had my own reservations about that because I just don't always agree how Apple places their, their upgrades. But with that being said, I can tell you this for certain. Even if you just get the baseline model at student discount, which is $11.99, you are going to absolutely be pleased with the performance as well 
as anything else. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get to the benchmarking. I'm using the newest version of Geek Dance, which is Geek Dance 5. And while this is doing its thing, let's go ahead and just remind you of a couple of things. And a couple of things to note about this particular model of Mac. You know, because again, these new custom uh, M1 chips from Apple are on the MacBook Air and the new MacBook Pro, and as well as the new desktop Mac Mini. Now, in terms of what model you should get based on performance, I'm still going to argue this model, the 13-inch MacBook Pro, only because it has active cooling, which in simple terms, it just has a cooling system. It has fans. It has an ability to cool itself better so that it, the 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 chip is not going to have to be throttled in terms of performance. And that makes a big difference if you're doing something intense. Now, if you just intend to use your notebook for something lighter, like let's just say everyday tasks, web browsing, email, Facebook, YouTube, things of that nature, really not doing anything else besides that, and you don't care about the extra features of the Pro, like the studio quality and likes, and uh, things of that nature, or the touch bar, then you could easily get by with just the MacBook Air, which offers all the same benefits of the new M1 chip, but just with a couple of sacrifices that I would argue a lot of people probably won't care about. But if you plan on doing anything more intense, then you will want to get the MacBook Pro 13 inch, which obviously for me, I just feel is the best way to go for my needs. You know, doing content creation, things like that. The Pro will be your best bet. Now, here we go. Let's take a look at the, the, um, the stores now. The single core score is 1707. Multi core score is 7186. That is impressive. I mean, that really is something, really. I mean, it's just incredible. It even blows away last year's 16 inch MacBook Pro that starts with a, uh, an Intel i7. So, I mean, that's really kind of amazing, if you ask me. And again, multi core scores look a little bit different, but again, whether you're going based on the numbers or just real life performance, you are going to notice the difference in the performance of these M1 equipped machines. Now, Apple says the battery life of these MacBooks, uh, starting with the MacBook Pro, is up to 20 hours of battery life. That is impressive. And even on the MacBook, Air that I believe they say is goes up to 17 hours. One thing you do have to note though is that these are Apple's estimates, which are never exactly as they are. But in my testing, after crunching 4K video, watching YouTube, doing emails, doing web browsing, having several tabs open in both Safari and Chrome, you know, things that I would normally do all the time, this still lasted me. Uh, an entire day, plus well into the next day, I would say until about 9.30 in the evening. So it really does last a long time with battery life, which makes a big difference, especially if you're using this if you're in school or for your job. I mean, this is going to really be a game changer in terms of map notebooks. Now again, the Mac Mini, which is also new, if you're looking for a desktop, offers even bigger gains compared to the last year's Mac Mini model. So all the way around, these M1 chips are incredibly impressive, and you really can't go wrong. So another thing I like to do in these videos is always give you guys an idea of the audio quality of the speakers. Because, let's be honest, sometimes you just want to listen to some music, or even if you're just watching YouTube, you like to have good sound. Now, these MacBook Pros for years have, have had pretty much great sound. Now, I haven't seen a lot of reviewers saying this so far on YouTube, but in my testing, I have found, maybe it's just me, but... I feel like, especially with the audio turned almost all the way up, it seems that the sound is a little more vibrant and loud and clear compared to last year's MacBook Pro 13 inch. 
not necessarily even the early 2020 models, but especially from the 2019 model, I noticed a big difference. But that's just me. So I'll give you a quick demo of that. Now, come on, who doesn't love Betty Higgins? Okay, I know. Uh, I'm not actually showing my age. I'm only 30 years old, but um, uh, this might be why I'm still single. But come on, some ladies my age might like uh, a little yacht rock, right? <laughs> so here's some Dirty Higgins for you guys, just to show you the audio quality. Man, it was so hard not to sing along just now, but I didn't. I held back. <laughs> but that's a little demo of the audio quality. I'm not sure if I'll get flagged because I, I know I'm not really licensed to, to play that, but I love that song. I wanted to give you guys a little demo of that. So with that being said, that's a look at the audio quality. And I think that pretty much covers the bulk of this review because really it all came down to the same design, but greatly enhanced internals thanks to the M1 uh, custom apple silicon. The 20 hours of battery life also thanks to the M1 chip. The studio quality microphones are fantastic. The red can is unchanged and still crappy in my opinion. I don't think Apple did any justice by saying that the neural engine inside of the M1 is supposed to enhance the video quality of it. I didn't see that in my testing. I think it still looks like crap, but that's okay. I hope that maybe in next year's redesign of the MacBook Pros, they give us a 1080p red can, fingers crossed. Uh, but other than that, that is the bulk of the review. So thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Again, the pricing of this machine starts at $11.99 student discount. I can't say that enough. Don't pay more than that, guys. Just go to Apple.com and go to the education store and, and just get it for the $100 off. With that being said, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like my content, please give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to me on YouTube if you haven't already. If you're watching this on Facebook, again, give it a thumbs up and share the video. I greatly appreciate it. Until next time, guys, have a great day and peace out for now.